Hey guys, it's Fluent Nerd here, doing my first let's first solo let's play. Again, this might be a bit confusing to some people. You see, this is indeed the let's play that you probably watched, or maybe not. However, it also sort of isn't. You see, a long I went back and watched through some of the old Bomberman videos. Yes, it's Bomberman Generation. I went back and watched them, and most of them were fine, except for one obvious uh, problem. In the search for this unknown energy, Episode 1, to be exact. The audio was terrible, it, it was just bad, and it really shouldn't have been uploaded. I don't mind if it's bad, but it was just about unwatchable, and it puts a bad spin on the, on the series. So what I'm doing is I'm going to start the series, oh, I'm not going to start the series fresh, I'm going to make a new Episode 1, right here, right now. Price is right. And, um... But... And I'm going to end up doing some things which wasn't able to do back then because of issues with programs, issues with time limits, all sorts of stuff. So, but after this point, I'm, go I'm not going to do any redo any of the other episodes. I'm going to let episode two, etc. happen. But I'm just going to have this be a better first episode. So this will end up being of a little bit better quality than the episodes following. The episodes following will end up having a bit of audio lag, a bit of issues. It was my first time. Give me a, give me a little bit of slack, okay? But I am going to redo this so I can have a much better first impression. And so the great battle for the bomb elements begins. This time, I'm doing it right. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my deepest pleasure to say, let's play Bomberman Generation. Now, as you can see, I've already done episode 25 by this point, basically the end of the game. So, I'm going to pick a new file in order to show this off. Up uh, past this point, I will have done basically everything you've seen me do, though. Then just, um... Just remember it's on a file 2, not 1. I'm showing this for the sake of you guys for the first episode. Hello there. Ah, there you are. It's me, Professor Ein. Professor Ein. You we meet again. Exploded! We're completely annihilated. Too bad. Squeak. Well, that's not good. Seems to be a little bit obsessive polishing our bombs there. Led by Mujo. Sorry, I, I just love that part. And we have our enemies, the Army of Mimes. And oh dear. That will be a terrible thing. Here's the plan. I'm going to annoy you throughout your entire adventure. And you do everything. Speaking of everything, here's some more things that, that you might have to deal with. Trust me, I'm... I'll crush him. You may have an easy time. Just to be on the safe side, I'll send Max, who's here right now. In hindsight, this becomes really funny. Right oh. All right. That was a pretty long extended arg there. Get going immediately to Planet Tentacle! Aye aye, Captain Nine! Let's roll! Yeah, in hindsight, Mac asking Max to help becomes a little bit funny in hindsight. Either way, this is Bomberman Generation! We have a tr 
We have our choice of the first three worlds, Tentasia, Octo Ocean, and Taco Desert. If I didn't mention another episode, all of these are octopus puns, with Tentasia being obvious, tentacle, octopus, obviously. Taco's the odd one, though. The trick is, is that Taco means, I mean, octopus in Japanese. So a bit of bilingualism there. No, not quite bilingualism, but the more you know. Nothing is half the battle, G.I. Joe. However, normally what you're supposed to do is go to World 1-1 one, one and continue there. But, each thing, each world has its own little gimmick. Well, this game has a little bit of a gimmick that hasn't been introduced yet, but each world gives you, the, whichever one you pick first, you get your free one on that one. My personal favorite happens to lie in World 2. So, we're starting the Let's Play by going straight to World 2, and forget World 1. We'll go there next time. Go forward in the sea. And so begins a long history of Professor Navi. The trick of this game, if you're running around, you can control bombs, you can kick them, obviously. Kick them in the guys, they'll stun them. Pick them up, hold it, you can throw it, make a big bomb. Ow. They do damage, and big bombs have much larger blast radius. So, pick them up, throw them, kick them, lay them down, they have a wait time. Now these are our average fire bombs. We will get more bombs as the game progresses. What you saw me pick up is a bomb up. That means I can lay down two bombs instead of one now. The things at the bottom left of the screen are the stats. We have the we have the thing that shows that it's a fire bomb right now. The little flame guy. And we have two there, which means we can lay two bombs at once. That fire is telling us how large your blast radius is, which, as you can tell, is pretty pitiful. And our lat stroll is due to our one roller skate, which is speed. So that's bomb, fire, power, and speed. And you gotta watch out, because friend, because you are very vulnerable to your own bomb blast, which is dangerous. These guys explode very violently. So, we proceed to continue forward. Now we have a fire up. Now, if you're paying attention, you can go back in the video. This explosion is far bigger. And it just gets bigger than there. Bomb and fire max out at 6, while speed maxes out at... Wait, no. Bomb and speed max out at 6. Meanwhile, fire maxes out, max out at 5. Now I have another bomb. This keeps on going. Now, the thing you see in the middle of the screen are something called lightning cards. Throughout the course of this adventure, they're kind of hard to get. You gotta, gotta track them down. And a lot of them require things that you won't have your first time through. I will, not long after recording this video, I am actually going to be going back through and scavenging this place for them. But that's not important right now. What's important is, JUMP INTO THE MYSTERIOUS PORTAL! And this is the gimmick I was talking about. Say hello to my best friend for a, little good, for a fairly good while. Kaiman! What's up? First Karabomb, Kaiman. These guys are sort of Pokemon. Sort of. We equip. Now, notice how it said we equip them. The trick is that these guys do have levels and do have stats, and you will engage in Karabomb battles. What? Hello, see the stats on the right, he's level, HP, and his attack, defense, special speed. But notice, he also has an ability, shield. All damage received by foes is cut in half. While he's active on your thing on the bottom right, he will um, he will al always cut damage in half. Thus damage that would normally do two hearts, does one, things that, no, things that would do an entire heart of your health. I only take um, two, and things that would do one heart, one miniature heart of your health, do absolutely no damage at all. It just means that the enemies are just that much less of a problem. Speaking of a problem, though, the reason I kick these out, the reason I kick these guys is that um, they tend to be really spastic, have a bad tendency to be really hard to actually kill. Thus, you generally want to keep them locked in there for as long as you can. Now, what we have here are little, um, Karabon feet, that's it. Each one ups the Karabon stats by one. For example, pay attention. Five, seven, two, two. Take one. Now it's a six. Take this. Now his defense is an eight. You get the idea. 
every time you collect four Carabomb feet, it doesn't matter what kinds, it doesn't matter how many, well, it doesn't matter how many, but no matter what kinds you get, it can be any variety, you get, um, you get one level up, so now he's level five Kaiman. That was a heart that you, I see me collect a few hearts throughout it. Hold up. Thank you, Professor Nabi. Um, either way, you see me, you see me, um, collect hearts a few times through this, and thus, um, However, um, uh, that's basically out restoration. By the way, just showing off more of Kaiman's awesomeness. Either way, this game is very sort of, um, game is somewhat linear. It's very based on, if you believe me, pu puzzle solving of all things. Using your bombs and the resources at your disposal. The levels tend to be rather long. And the lightning cards tend to be rather far out. Wait. We can grab the first lightning card there. So, I'll probably be re grabbing that in just a second. Either way, um, the trick with Max is that if you grab enough lightning cards and then finish the stage and then um, have a hard enough time with the boss battle, he will actually come to help you out. Now, these fish are gonna block our progress. Gonna make us fall in this fight. J jerk fish. You see, this is what happens. This is the problem with going to school. We get stuff like this. Uh, get used to the puns, guys. It's not getting any better. Yeah. And a little bit of a much-needed attack up for Kai Man. Now, see, notice these boulders. I've been sort of casually pushing aside with firepower. That is a running theme of Bomberman Generation. Well, both of them are technically. Boulders and firepower. Excessive amounts of firepower. As you can see with that. We've all now notice we've already nearly maxed out some of us. We're about halfway to maxing out some of our stats, and we've nearly maxed out Bomb Up on our first level. Yeah, these stages are absolutely filled to the brim with power-ups. Which is good because if you die, you lose them. These guys tend to notice when their bomb's there if you try to hit them with it. So the little stun method doesn't work. What you gotta do is get interrupted. Run right away! What you gotta do is not get interrupted, not get hit by it, get him in the blast radius, and then wait for them again. Now, as he was saying, we, I'm going to totally ignore the switches. Yep, exactly what he was saying. Now, what might notice how the bomb is turned bomb bomb six is turned red. That means I've maxed out my bombs. I can out only play six in this game at any time. Ow! There we go. Boom. Why not? Now, you might notice this little potion thing is rather special. Well, <laughs> he given it, he says special every time, but either way, this one is something special. Well, I just said that. Uh, notice 8934? 9145. And he went up a level, too. Those little potions is a plus one to every stat. Pretty remarkable that you don't you see them every now and then they're rather handy. So whenever you see one of those, make sure you pick it up to whatever care bomb you happen to be wanting to level up. So we attack the clan and proceed to move forward. Whee! You haven't noticed the puzzle elements yet? Uh, speed up, the most the most welcome of all of these. Ow. You see, when you've actually played through the game one, once, sometimes a few of these things can be a, a few things can be a little bit irksome when you're used to not having these problems. Things like a certain care bomb much later in the game, which it comes in a lot of handy. That if you haven't noticed, I'm feel uh, my bombing isn't the best because 
I anticipate things exploding a little bit faster than, I, faster than I do. Now, see this invisible thing? We won't be able to deal with that in a long, long time. Uh, well, you guys won't. I will be. I will rather shortly. <laughs> Another special up. This time, literally. And we continue on our puzzle making ways. If you've noticed, this game can get a little bit long. You're right. These levels tend to be rather long. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it can make each level a bit of a trek. Eep. Oh yeah, I remember the trick to that now. You see, there's a few more tricks I haven't shown you with uh, Bomberman yet. One of which I'll show you in a bit. But this one, place them at ledges. You can walk on the bombs and oh, whoops. Well, I killed whatever was there. Uh, is this really worth it? No. However, later in the game, you'll get the ability to do something with that trick. As for now, just walking on the bombs is about the extent of what you can do, and there isn't much that you're supposed to be able to do with that. As it doesn't stop me from occasionally doing stuff, cool stuff with that, but you're not supposed to. Chuck it. There we go. Now here's where I'm gonna show you my other trick up my the other trick up my sleeve. Now you see here we gotta explode a bomb, but we gotta be right next to it. No problem, here's the bomb barrier. An invincible shield that you can create. And it's well invincible for 180 degree in front of you. Slightly less so. Slightly less than 180. Eat. The problem is you really can't pull it out on demand, but, well, you, you it's kind of hard to pull out quickly, but when you pull it out, it is very, very, very handy, and you will see me it, it, sort of saving my rear countless times in the future. It is exceptionally useful for boss battles. To get into the hole, fire in the hole! Or not. Hello? That's odd. Huh. Oh well. Usually, stuff like that is just... There we go. Kick him in the shins. Kick, kick, kick. Ah, I haven't lost my touch. Oh dear, current! Whatever does that mean? At the moment, nothing at all. But... It is quite a current, but a bunch of fish getting in my way. Now, when I want to hop from here to here, kind of can. Or from here to there. So, we move the camera, and oh hey, look at that! A convenient switch! And blammo! And there go the annoyances. Like, almost sounds a little bit heartless. Oh well. Very special! Sadly, it's time based, so you might have to do it more than once. But, that's all we need. Now. Bubble hopping. And. Yep. Stuff like this is Bomberman. A mixture of interesting puzzles, high explosives, and just the slightest bit of tedium. Ah, but don't worry. I'll try to make the ride as interesting as possible for you. And we skip to victory! Being the cute little hero that thing that we are. And we get clear! Oh, I can't do the high voice anymore. Oh, makes me sad. Oh well. And, next time, instead of going to Black Ink Trench, we will be going to Octo back to Octop Octopi Awards. At least you guys will. Next time, at episode 26, which should be recorded soon, I will start combing the area, starting with, in chronological order, Octo Shoals. Again. So, until next time, it's been Fluent Nerd.
and I'll see you in the past.